Hello, dear friends. This is the photos I um I drew for my self portrait, and when people seeing my drawing, they are curious about how I did it. So um today I want to like show you the whole process of how I do a self portrait, and hopefully you can get inspirations from my process. And be able to do by yourself for your self portrait. Well, if you are an absolute beginner, it's okay, because today I'm going to show you an easy trick of how you do your sketch first. If you are not comfortable of doing the、um, coloring, it's okay of starting from the sketch. So this is the photo for today. Uh, of our self-portrait study, what I did is I took the photo and into the iPad. Then I save into my Procreate because I want to like、uh, show you a study of how the faces are structured, and then we could be able to like draw the structure correctly. So what I'm going to do is, um. Getting this photo with lighter opacity, and then I create another layer, and I want to have、um, a study for this face. So I'm creating another layer, and then、um, I use a pencil, and、uh, the first is. Have an understanding. Let's have an understanding of、uh, the basic structure of the fun foundation of our head. So okay. So let's draw. A better circle. A better circle. Okay. So I'm bringing the circle to the side. Okay, so you see my face is like a little bit three quarter view. So what I'm going to do is I get the center line. So this is like a a ball, right? So I'm getting the center line is going through the center. So the center line looks like this. Okay, so we are getting the center line guide as a guidance, and here this is a three quarter view. So I'm、uh, getting a、uh, cutting the smaller part is similar as、mm. I'm having a ball. See, I'm having a ball. So I'm cutting the side of the ball. And this is a a smaller circle in the side, so this is the way. Okay, so we are having to the side. I want to bring it to a little bit to the side. This way, and I'm drawing the center line again. So this is the center line, and、um, I'm having. So here is in the middle, and where is here?、Um, the face, my face is like a little bit looking up, so I'm getting a line going in the center. This is the center line. You see, so it's like a curving up, okay. And because of there is a little bit perspective, so I'm getting a like a shorter, a shorter forehead, and here is the nose line. So in the right in the bottom of the nose, and I'm connecting. I'm connecting,、uh, connecting the nose to the ear, the bottom of the ear. 
okay a line in here and from here I'm just uh, uh, get a connection from here and get the chin so my face is kind of not mm, it's like a square more square if you draw like a movie stars face you would have like a different different faces have different structure but basically you see what i mean is this lens this lens is the longest okay the longest and here and here so basically is one two and three i'm separating into three sections and this line is the eyebrow line and here is the for um the hairline and here is the chain line so my neck is like this so basically you have the structure of the whole head and then what you can you can do is you decide with the nose width okay so this is the nose area this is the nose and how you can how you can decide where you should have the eye you have a connection from the nose so basically from here you draw a circle and cutting with I'm draw, drawing a circle so this circle is like um, cutting with the eyebrow line and you connect for for our eye is from the starting point to the end point is slightly in the downward of the circle okay so you go you get a connection from here and then you get another circle another circle and you connect this two yeah one dot and the other dot so you you have uh, been able to like decide where sh you should have the eye and uh, basically if you draw a, a rectangle so the rectangle would be um it would be one to two this is one this is two so the size would be like here so you connect these two lines okay okay so this is the size of your eye and the eyebrow would be in here it depends uh what kind of eyebrow we our, our study is to understand how you can get the face and this from this eyebrow you can connect with a trapezoid okay so the trapezoid and this is the, the middle of the nose and we have a ball in here so this is the wing of the nose okay then we decide where should have the the mouse and the mouse would starting this this is the starting point and to end the point is could be a letter m on the top and this is the lower part okay so my mouse is like a little bit open but i want to for our study purpose let's um, make it like a close okay so where you should have your ear the ear is in this quadrant okay the fourth quadrant of for this example is the third quadrant okay in here so we are drawing and the the neck is starting from the end of uh, your ear so this is our understanding and study And the hairline uh, is going is going in this way so there here is a hair some hair 
and the hairline is going down like this okay so i'm getting a outline of my hair so this is like a uh, in the ancient in the ancient uh, costume in the ancient costume and here is the hair so this is the body hair is going down from here okay so this is the basic understanding and I'm going to after right after this I'm going to remove and you can you can get an understanding of um, the basic structure okay. and the first I'm getting a circle getting a circle and if you are not um, if you are not uh, satisfied with your circle you can do use a compound compass okay so it doesn't matter for you get the circle and you can go from there so if um, I know some of you may be frustrated oh you you know I want to draw myself but it's really hard for me to uh, get except for I trace myself I trace the photo um, I have no I other idea so I'm just showing you the method Okay, so here is the circle, not necessary to be like a perfect circle. And then you decide with the nose line. I'm, uh, I'm getting the nose line, and this is the center line. So this is the eyebrow line, and this is, this is the uh, hair line. Okay, so chin line would be around here right so three sections i'm going to get like chin line so one section one section two section three so right now you get three sections and from here the one section to the second i'm getting a a little oval If you cannot get a, a perfect oval, it's okay. It's okay. You just keep to um, keep practicing. Okay, nobody can get a perfect everything from the starting point. And I'm getting a center line. So this is the center line, right? And I'm cutting the side. So the three quarter view is kind of not an easy, easy part. And um, so I'm going to connect. This. So this is, this is the chin. This is the chin area. And it's going to the end of here. So this is, here is the ear, right? So ear is here. So this is the ear size from the eyebrow line to the nose line. And then starting from here, you decide. So this is uh, the face, the face shape. I'm, uh, I'm making my face like a uh, thinner, not that wide. <laughs> okay, so, so I hopefully you just learned the method and then you could do your own um, portrait. Okay, those, that is something wonderful. I want you to be able to like do your own stuff. Okay, so this is basically the shape of the face. And after you get understanding of the shape of the face, then we decide our nose. Um, I'm getting my nose a little bit thinner, thinner. So this is the wing of the nose and here is the nose ball in the in the center and then those this here is the nostrils so this is this could be a nose mm. you see this is the nose so even though you are not seeing the uh, the nose you can you can decide okay so here 
is a trapezoid and from here is the eyebrow so I'm just putting a placeholder for here my eyebrow is like a very light my natural one so I just use the makeup so, uh, I always change my eyebrow eyebrows um, uh, shape so it doesn't matter for which one is uh, good or not okay so connection from here and you get a circle you get a circle and you get a circle in here and you connect from a line in the bottom a line in here and this is starting point of the eye and the eye is like this shape oh, so this is the shape and this is the shape for a detailed um, eye how to draw an eye how to draw a nose um, I hope you already uh, you already learned about that. Uh, or else we 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 have lots to cover. Okay, so here we have a dot, two dots, and I'm connecting. So here is there is a ball. You can have uh, this part with a letter V on the on here, and I'm going to do. I'm going to do a letter M. Okay, so my uh, if this tutorial is like very hard for you, um, stay tuned. I'm I'm going to have share a lot of things, uh, the trick of how I can do it. Okay, so so basically this is um, this is my understanding of uh, the whole structure of my my face. And then I got from here, here is, so here is the hairline. And from here, I'm going up. So this is the basic shape uh, of my hair. So this is like a... Mm, is quite random <laughs> so you can you can decide with the shape okay you can decide it doesn't matter and uh, from here is the basic structure and then some uh, breeds coming coming from here and this is the color going to this direction yeah and this is the shoulder and the other shoulder is going to this way okay okay so i'm going to show you the original picture and let's go from there so this is i'm going to put um put this sketch in here okay so the next step um i'm going to like erase everything and because uh, the final sketch would be just follow what we already made the construction line so i'm going to like speed up it's like four times of speeding up so i deleted i erased everything and I still can see the marks, so I go through with um, the sketch, like a quick sketch. The whole sketch uh, time for me I spent is like around less than 10 minutes. So because our purpose is not for the sketch, is finally we transfer this sketch into a watercolor drawing, right? So for the sketch, I didn't make it very detailed. So it's like a rough drawing. And I'm going through it again and making a little bit makeup for, for myself. And as you can see, 
you can go through with the process, like the eyes and the nose. And when you do it, do a little bit shading uh, wherever you want with uh, the colors. So I'm working on eyes, nose, and mouth first. And for the face and the, the hair, I'm just uh, roughly going through it. Okay, so my purpose, my drawing is not like exactly like me for the photo. It's just, I'm just showing you um, the method of doing it and you are free of drawing yourself. Okay, so the, the way, the method is the most important in here. It's not to draw the person um, how resemble with the photo. Okay, so here I purposely uh, make the eyes like uh, smaller and the face is longer and uh, thinner. Okay, so you can see the rough drawing is just like this and I didn't do the shading and only a little bit folds for the clothes and that's it. Okay, so for the next step is I put the sketch on top of a LED pad, light pad, and use a watercolor paper to transfer, to trace this whole sketch into a line drawing. Okay, so is I'm fast playing it with its speed, so I'm just going through and with very, very light strokes and going through the whole face quickly. And when you do it, remember you draw with all the strokes very, very light and you just draw the outlines. Okay, so you can see this is the final tracing result. I'm doing a little bit adjustment and then it's ready or start the watercolor process. So for the coloring process, I'm just uh, based quickly going through the whole process. The actual time I spent is was 15 minutes. So I'm just uh, fast playing with 20 times speed and uh, quickly showing you the result. And um, for the watercolor, um, I just don't want to like spend too long time in the detail coloring. Usually the watercolor would spend a lot of time, right? So I just basically going through with a base coloring. And for today is just uh, like a demo of a quick watercolor and uh, the coloring technique. So I'm just uh, going through the base color and then I use the color pencil to do the top layer. If you want to learn about the um, coloring technique, uh, there are a lot to cover. So um, it's not like a, a very quick explain. So if um, the whole video, the, the whole process is to show you if you are the beginner and you want to draw yourself as a self-portrait, and then you can start by sketch. Okay? If you are comfortable with sketching and later on you can develop the uh, painting, painting and coloring skills. So right now you can see I'm using the color pencil and on top of the layer of watercolor and I trace with um, the uh, the direction of the hair and also for um, the face and uh, using the color pencil and quickly to go through it. Usually if I do with the watercolor, I would spend like longer time. But for today's video, it's just showing you the, the basic technique. So finally, I'm using a uh, color pencil and to put uh, makeup for the for the mouse 
and have a little bit shadowing for the face and you can see the splatter as well so yeah this is uh, the final step okay so this is uh, today's tutorial hopefully you enjoyed the same as me if you have any further request of showing you how to be creative and create something you like uh, please let me know and if you are serious about learning please join uh, you can join my online class and uh, if you like my channel please subscribe and uh, hopefully i can see you very soon enjoy bye